Sarah here. I have to do a new addition to my Terry Diaries. I haven't done one in a while. I need to do one today. Terry, you know I love you. You are just like, I swear, we're related. Like, from birth. I think we were just separated at birth. But sister, we need to talk. And we need to, girl, we're going to get serious, okay? I'm like serious, okay? I know it was cold this morning. It was really cold. I mean, this is Hawaii. We're not used to temperatures below 65. Yes, I know it was cold. But girl, uh-uh. No, no, stop it. You can't wear that pants to the gym anymore. No, girl. Stop it, stop it now. You, no. What was that? Some baggy sweatpants? No. And I'm not even playing, okay? Me. A body like that don't belong in some baggy sweatpants. No. And it's Zumba. We need to see which way your butt's moving. I think that's why we, well, we come to your Zumba class. We want to see your butt moving around. You know, it's one of your greatest assets. You're the one who taught us about our assets. Ladies, you gotta work on your assets. If you're not looking at your assets, who is? And then this morning you come in and you're hiding your assets. Where was the inspiration for us this morning? Where was the love? It was like, you didn't even want to inspire us this morning. I think that's basically what happened on our side. We just became so dysfunctional. It was like, we had the motivation, you know? And the next thing you know, we, we all kind of started going crazy. It was because of you. You and your sweatpants. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to take those sweatpants, give them a big hug, and put them at the bottom of your drawer that you never open. Those sweatpants cannot be in your Zumba class anymore. You can wear it for anything else. No, you can't. <laughs> don't wear No. Your assets don't belong in pants like that. They don't. You know how much, you know how many women, they work out so hard to get a butt like that? And it's when you hide it. In the gym. You know? I don't know. I'm just not feeling love today. It's a sad day for me. But I don't give up. Because I'm a fighter. It's what I do. With or without your assets, I will find a way to carry on. But tonight, I will go home. I will eat some ice cream in front of the TV straight out of the tub. Maybe watch some Korean dramas. And tomorrow morning, I will get up and I will carry on again. But I don't get to see you tomorrow. Don't you feel bad?